These guys are going on and weighing in. I don't know, let's go over and look. What's she weigh? 3,800. 3,800? That's, that's less than I thought. We did have it down to 35. Judge. It's very cool. Yeah, it says Judge on it. Yeah. The one before it was only 3,800. 3,800? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. So that's the sled right there that they're gonna pull. East Tennessee Antique Tractor Inc. And boy, they got a lot of, they plan on giving out some trophies. They should have the rodeo. Yeah. They had rodeo up in here? Yeah. So they've got that thing right there where it can, they took an old transfer truck rear end. And so they've got it where they could crank it up and turn it and pull the, and, it'll go back on its own. That's interesting. So they'll hook a chain right there. But it'll go back on its own power. That white thing, it'll slide forward as this thing goes forward. It pulls the weight forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I see what it is. The drive shaft is hooked to the weight. So as those wheels turn, it'll pull the weight forward. And then on the other side, do you see that little wheel on it? They use that little wheel to pull it back. Wow. That guy on the side of it is riding. Well, I'm 75 years old. It's the first time I've ever seen So what's your name? My name is Tristan Seals. Tristan Seals? Mm -hmm. And uh, so you are at the tractor show. Tell us about what's going on at the tractor show. So, we're basically watching the tractor pull. And I love the, all these tractors. They gather around, getting ready to pull stuff. I don't know what kind of stuff. And they pull all kinds of stuff. And they just have to always drive. They go, they take turns driving. A lot of weight, I would think. Yeah. So you also, you got a tattoo on your face one time. Tell me about that. Yes, I did have a face paint. What happened? Um, my mom told me to wash it off. What <laughs> was it of? A bluebird. A bluebird? Blue bird. I like bluebirds, don't you? And redbirds. Yeah. Yep. So are you excited? We're getting ready to watch the tractor pull? Yes. All right. Very cool. Thank you so much for telling us about that. You also told me about your teacher winning uh, the greatest teacher in the whole world award. Yeah. As well. She got money and she bought like stuff. So she put so I also went to the news. Very cool. Today so you were on the news that day, right? Yeah. And you're going to be on my channel this day. So oh, yeah. on the tractor pull, you get to be on the video. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate you. You're getting it all ready. The tractor's called Jolene. Oh. It's the other woman. Jolene and Sevierville. That's a hot. That got full farm girl right there. There ain't no doubt about that. 
She's tough if she's out here doing a tractor pull. Quick. all she got. But yeah, that drive shaft up the middle is what pulls that box with the weight on it. So they're smoothing everything and getting it ready for the next run. So they have to do this between every run. So I don't know if she's going again. She might be, but they're lining up weighing in down there. I bet that little green one, the front end will lift up when he goes. Oh, yeah. Little gasser. Yeah, it's got that top fuel looking, <laughs> yeah. Or, or, yeah, fuel tank. Well, that thing right there is vibrating like that. I could feel it all the way over here under my feet. It's shaking the ground. I'm a steamroller, baby. I'm out of roll over you. So she is hooking up, so I guess they get two runs. He's still going. They ran out of racetrack.
Jolene is running again. Anybody know what he's got under there? Oh. But maybe. I'm, I'm like you, I think, from a standpoint. I mean, these things could sling some metal. I look at him. bad boy right there's got some power. The engine looks tiny in it. It's a two cylinder.
I don't know if he overfilled it or what, but it's dripping. These are all those John Deere's that sound funny. And I think they're two cylinders. There's a spark plug here. And there's a spark plug on the other side. The valves are under there. The valve cover's on the side. Yep, there's a spark plug here. So they're literally two cylinders, but they have giant flywheels on them. Electric starter on the flywheel. Carburetor here. Interesting, and that's the way they sound. That's one right there. And they made theirs like a Hemi. Spark plugs up in there. So look at this. They, they don't have the spark plugs on the side there. Theirs are up under, like a Hemi. The plugs are down in a hole up under. I don't know if they modified it like that or if it's just a different gear model. I remember the old price. Yeah, this one's up under. So it's a different. And then they have the petcock there for the water, water jacket. Oh, Chrysler plug used to go down in the valve cover. Mm-hmm. And him. Ferguson, super major. That's got some. They just brought that thing. Yeah.
sit on a while. I need a little pushing. So there we go, friends. Cool stuff. I do. Nice family friendly. These are the salt of the earth people. Just good folks. Everybody, how are you? This is good family fun. These people are about family and country. Doesn't get any more American than that. You get a chance to come out here and check it out. I highly recommend that you do. And they say it's going to rain, so these folks are putting their tractors under here to keep them out of the rain. But so far, it looks good. I don't think it's going to. I think we're going to get lucky. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Smoke barbecue. Those are sewing machine engines right there. So it says Maytag. That's what I was talking about. Washing machine, I should say. Those are washing machine engines. Very cool stuff. Tractors as far as the eye can see. These folks tightened up and had a tractor pull. Sevierville, Tennessee. May 2024. Tractor pull right there, friends. Sevier County Fairgrounds. It was a really nice day. Met up with my friend Doc Livingston. We watched the tractor pull together. It's his first one. Thanks for coming and hanging out, Doc. And all I can say is, what's up? Dr. Livingston, I presume. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.